Hi there. Come, I want to show you something. Welcome to the internet, where information is countless, endless, and limitless. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cite internet sources. Reports of organizations, working papers, white papers, and commissions of inquiry are typical examples of credible internet sources. And if you make use of who, when, what and where, your references will, of course, be perfect. I stumbled on the following article while doing a search on food security. I really want to use this article because the information will boost the argument of my assignment. As you can see, this article was created by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Due to the fact that this is a credible organization, I decided to refer to the source and include it in my reference list. How to cite it? Easy peasy. The who, or author, is the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Your text reference will look like this. But remember, if you choose to use the acronym of the organization, which in this case is FAO, in your text reference, you must start the entry in your reference list with the same acronym, and then the full name of the organization in brackets. The who then will look like this. This will then be your text reference. The second element is the when, which is the date this article was published on this website. Yep, 2019. Then the what of the article is the title, which should be typed in italics. The final element of the reference list entry is where. Where did I find this source? Provide the specific internet address, also called the URL. And remember, the URL must be hyperlinked so that the reader can just click on the link. Do not put a full stop after the URL. Also, add the date when you retrieved this article from the internet. And there you have a perfect reference list entry for your internet article. FAO 2019 Hunger and Food Insecurity URL accessed on the 29th of June 2019. Just a little note, the date of access is not needed for permalinks or DOI numbers as discussed in my journal article video. Speaking of that, scientific journal articles retrieved from the internet should be treated as journal articles and not as internet sources. Remember to make sure all the URLs of the internet sources you've used are still valid before submitting your assignment or research paper. Stick to the who, when, what and where for reference list entries. See you in cyberspace!